Welcome to a JowView online training video, where I will be explaining how to navigate the JowView interface. Let us look at the JowView desktop. Basically, everything sits within the desktop window. The desktop window has drop-down menus, including File, Tool and Help. The File menu allows us to read and save alignments and projects. From the Help menu, we can access the online help documentation. JowView has a comprehensive manual that can be viewed in its own window. There are several different types of viewing window in JowView. In the configuration that opens when JowView is launched, there is an alignment window, tree window and structure window visible. All windows can be moved, resized and closed independently. The alignment window is the primary window for visualizing and editing. Within the sequence alignment panel, there is a sequence ID panel and a sequence alignment area. Below this, there is an annotation panel with an annotation alignment area and an annotation label area. JowView has two navigation and editing modes for selecting sequences and residues. There is a normal mode where you input your instructions via the mouse and there is a cursor mode where you enter the commands via the keyboard. Function F2 key on your keyboard toggles between these two modes. When we're in the normal mode, this box is clear and when we're in the cursor mode, this box is black. Note with a Mac, you often need to press the function key and F2 to switch between these two modes, as the F2 key is often assigned to screen brightness. JowView always starts up in the normal mode. Let us now check out moving around the desktop. You can use the rulers at the bottom and at the side to change the location of the sequences that you are viewing. You're able to move to precise sequence, column or residue in JowView. In the normal mode, to move to a sequence, you click on the sequence of interest in the sequence ID panel. To move to a column, move the cursor to the column that you're interested in in the alignment ruler. To specify a specific residue, move the cursor to the residue of interest. Take note of the information that is shown in the status bar. This tells you the sequence ID and the name of the residue that the cursor is located. If we now enter the cursor mode using the F2 function key, you can use the keyboard to jump to precise locations. So to move to a sequence of interest, you type the row that that sequence is located in, followed by S. So to move to sequence row 7, type 7s. To move to a column of interest, you type the number of the column followed by C. So to move to column 18, you type 18c. To move to a specific residue in the current sequence, you type the residue number followed by P. So to move to residue 18, you type 18p. To move to a specific row and column location, for example, to move to column 5, sequence 13, you type 5, comma, 13, return. To close, here is a JowView top tip. You can quickly locate a group of residue alignments in your sequence by using the Find option. So go to the Select window and in the drop-down menu select Find. In the window that opens, type in the sequence that you are interested in. I have selected the MAT sequence. I used Find All option and it has identified that motif. You can use the Find to locate sequence ID or sequence numbers. If you want to see other videos, then please visit our website at www.jowview.org. There you can find other training videos and documentation. Thank you.